Hey guys, it's Jody with CLD Outdoors back out in the caves again today. This is the cave that's a deep cave that was in my last video, my last cave video. Well, I've got my RC car with me today and the GoPro. And we're going to send her back in there, guys. Let's get it assembled. We'll see what we can see. Here's the car itself, guys. You can see it's got a low profile to start with, and it also raises up to four-wheel drive, and I'll show you guys that. This is the rope I'm gonna hook to it, some paracord. And then the GoPro mounts right here on the top, so this is the front, and the GoPro will go here. And I've got a light to attach as well. It's a nice day out today, guys. It's 70 degrees. Got a nice breeze blowing. So all we gotta do is take this GoPro mount, attach it to the GoPro, put the thumb screw in. Well, we gotta get my light. Gotta put the light on. The light that I'm using, guys, is an LED light that's made for uh, for uh, backup lighting for yourself, for your cell phone or your camera on your phone, or you can use it for the SLR or whatever, whatever you want to use it for. But I'm using it for this application. I'll give you guys a, a look at the light. It's a three-stage LED. It's pretty bright, but we're going to conserve that energy until we get it back in the, in the cave there. Uh, let me get my controller. Here's the controller. I'll show you guys the functions of the car. You can see it raises the four-wheel drive. And it goes back down to this where I can raise the, the front. Lower the front. Lower the back. And I've got I've got two batteries so we should be good guys. Let me get my tow rope on and we'll get this thing back in there. I'm excited. Let's see what's back in there. And who knows what could be back in there. Just gonna make a simple tow rope here, guys. This rope is not as long as I would want like it to be, but it's gonna have to do for now. We'll get it back as far as we can anyway. Cause I'm not real sure how far this cave goes. I really don't know. don't want this to get tangled up in the wheel, so I'm going to cut a piece of this. All I'm doing is making some Simple uh, slip knots or Canadian cinch knot, whatever you want to call it. I call them slip knots. Just slipping them around the axle. Then I'm going to put me a, a loop back here. Just 
so that I can hook this rope into it. Got little chipmunks everywhere up here. I guess they make their home in these rocks, which I don't blame them. It's good coverage. So all I'm going to do is just tie this on here, guys, with another slip knot. Just in case I have to pull this thing out of here. Because I definitely don't want to have to go back in there unless I absolutely have to. Sample setup, nothing, nothing special about it, guys. The camera is attached very well, so... I think we're good there. But I think I will just be on the safe side. Put me a safety line on that camera. Here's all I done for the for the attachment guys. I just went here and here. Put it like a tow line on the back and then I hooked one from the camera back to this tow line that way everything's attached straight into this paracord that I got coming off the car and we're gonna get her GoPro ready and we'll send her back guys let's go all right guys everybody ready got the light on and we're off
All right, guys, we uh, sent the car back. It doesn't go back near as far as I thought it was going to. I think it did at one point, but it's fell down because I can feel the air coming out of there. And I thought at one point back there on the right side that I could see a small hole that went through. But of course the car won't fit through that. But anyway, we got to check it out. So, you know, that's a plus. Now we know what's back in there. I'm gonna review the footage. I need a brighter light. I do know that much. So I will be back, Lord willing. I've got a, another light uh, option that I can do. So uh, looking forward to that. 